In this video we're going to be looking at equations of straight line graphs and using those to decide whether two particular lines are parallel. The graphs we're going to be working with will have equations given in the form y equals mx plus c which you should have come across in topic A9A. You should also have come across the idea of gradient and y-intercept in topic A10A. But to recap quickly, you should remember that m, whatever that is, represents the gradient of this line and c represents the y-intercept. That's where the straight line crosses the y-axis. Now, before we get into this video, what we just need to realise is that two parallel lines will have the same gradient. Let's have a quick look at a couple of examples. This line segment here has a gradient of 2. We can tell because for every one step we go across, we need to go two steps up to get back onto the line. So our change in y divided by our change in x is simply 2 divided by 1, which is just 2. And you'll see that this line, which is parallel, has the exact same gradient. For every one step across, we need to go two steps up. Similarly, we have a different pair of parallel lines here. Both of these have the same gradient. In this case, the gradient is one third. Now, what that really means is that for every one step we go across from the line, we need to go a third of a step up to get back onto the line. Now, that's quite hard to see on this diagram like that, but what you can realise is that for every three steps we go across, we go one step up to get back on the line. Now, our change in y divided by our change in x is one third. So the gradient here is one third. And you'll notice it's exactly the same with this other line. And because they have the same gradient, these two lines are therefore parallel. Let's move on to the examples. What we have to do in this question is identify three pairs of parallel lines from these six equations. Do we need to plot the lines in order to do this? Well, the answer is no. We can simply use the gradients to tell us which lines are parallel. Looking at the first equation, you'll see that we've got y equals 2x plus 3. So that means it's got a y-intercept of 3, but more importantly, a gradient of 2. Now, is there another line here that has a gradient of 2? Yes, it's this one. y equals 2x minus 1. It's got a gradient of 2. And that means these two are parallel to each other. Let's move on. In this case, we have a gradient of negative 1. There is an invisible 1 there, so 5 minus 1x is what this equation is really saying. And the coefficient of x, which is what gives us the gradient when we've got the equation in the form y equals mx plus c, is in this case negative 1. Now, is there another equation where the coefficient of x is negative 1? And the answer is yes. It's this one here. Again, we've got this invisible number 1 there. This is y equals negative 1x plus 3. That negative 1 is telling us that we've got a gradient of negative 1. And that means these two lines are parallel. Finally, let's look at these two. We know they're going to match because we were looking for three pairs, but let's just check. y equals a half x plus 5. The gradient of that line is a half. y equals 1 plus a half x. The gradient of that line is also a half. And because they've got the same gradient, that means those two lines are parallel. And that's all there really is to this video. The big idea is that two lines are parallel if they have the same gradient. And one of the things you have to remember is that it's really easy to tell the gradient of a straight line if you're given the equation in gradient intercept form, like we are here. In other words, if you're given them in the form y equals mx plus c. 
And just to finish off, I'm going to repeat what I said originally. We don't need to plot the lines in order to identify which ones are parallel. We can tell just by looking at these gradients.